Hey guys and welcome to October's Blu-ray haul. Um, this month I only got three films. They're all new releases, but they're not new films. And they're all like cult classics, in a way. Um, um, so yeah, let me get in, you know, start with what I got. And uh, with uh, last month being October, um, the first item is Halloween from 1978, the original. Um, with Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, this is a new release. This is the 40th anniversary edition. Um, now, it was uh, £9.99 in HMV, but if I got it with any other purchase, I got it for £4.99. So I saw that offer and I thought I can't turn down that. It's, it is a classic. Um, Michael Myers, a really um, iconic horror character. Um, Got a nice slip cover, and there's the cover and um, the disc art. And you get Bright Night at Fort Park. Um, so, yeah, um, still haven't seen the latest Halloween movie, which I would actually like to see, um, but I'm not sure when that's going to happen. But yeah, Halloween. Um, the next up is a Arrow release, and it's of the 1995 sci-fi cult classic starring Bruce Willis and Brad Pitt, and that is Twelve Monkeys. Um, I saw this and I thought, wow, that looks really nice. It's a it's a new um, 4K restoration. Um, it's got a really nice slipcover, which I really like. I did have this before, but then I sold it a while back. It was just a bare bones um, Blu-ray, but this has got the full special treatment. It's got a really nice slip cover, like I said, and then obviously it's got this artwork, 12 Monkeys. This is the reversed artwork because the other artwork is what the slip cover is, but I prefer this one for the case and this artwork for the slip cover. Um, there's a wild drawing of Brad Pitt there. There's the disc art. Um, get a little card for other Arrow releases. I'll show you the inside the booklet in a minute. But yeah, there's a disc art. Um, there's the other cover art, which is, like I said, the same as the slip cover. Um, Arrow do really good releases. Like I said, that's a wild picture of Brad Pitt there. Um, but yeah, there's some, um, it's a good read. Good toilet read, you know, if you sat on the toilet and you need something to read, it's good. Some interesting facts and stuff about the film. Some good imagery. Um, yeah, this is like one of those 90s films that people don't talk about enough, but it is a really, really good film. Um, Frank Gershon, who played the Riddler from Batman 66. I don't watch TV show there. Um, forgot he was in the movie actually. Um, yeah, I think it came out in 1995. A lot of films seem to come out in 1995. A lot of films that I like, whether they were good or bad. You know, Batman Forever, Mighty Morphin, Power Rangers, Judge Dredd, they're three bad films that came out in 1995. Um, 1995, um, Bruce Willis did 12 Monkeys and Die Hard with a Vengeance, which is two really good films that I like. Um, Madeline Stowe, forgot she was in it as well. But yeah. Really good film. I do enjoy this movie. Like I said, it's a cult classic, but it's one that is really good. Oh yeah, it's directed by Terry Gillingham, um, who was a member of the Monty Python team. Um, so yeah, there's my second Blu-ray. And then last but not least, I don't really collect anime much. You know, I've got a few Ghosts in the Shell Blu-rays, but apart from that, that's it. But I saw this and I couldn't turn it down, and it's the classic Akira from I think 1982 81 82 um, there's a there's the artwork now this is a a box like that um, I'll just put that back on across I'll show you the back as well if I can put it on back on there's the back Some really good artwork in this. 
It's a nice, sturdy card box. And again, this has got reversible artwork, and I have the other artwork on because, you know, I've got the slip box which has got that artwork on it, and I like this artwork. It's nice, it's plain and simple, but I also like the back, which reminds me of the um, VHS release, which had a similar art style. Um, and then inside, you get a few goodies. Um, There's the artwork there, for disc one, and then similar artwork there for disc two. Um, and I'll just take this disc out to show you. The artwork is the same as the box, the slip box. And then a couple of goodies that you get is you get some postcards. Or prints, so just say little little prints. So just open these up and show you. So some good prints there is the slip box cover, which is really nice. Um, and the back of a slip box. And then the disc art. And then an image of nuclear explosion which was on the back of the VHS I'm not sure if it is on the back of this no it's not but I, I remember that on the back of the VHS box as well um, so yeah four art cards there um, and then last but not least you get a poster of the original you know theoretical poster that's I remember that as the VHS cover and something similar to that on the back of the VHS box. So it's very nice. Um, I do like it. So yeah guys, um, let me know down below what is your favourite Blu-ray that I got this month? What's your favourite film there? Have you seen all three of these films? And uh, what do you think of these movies? Um, like and share my channel guys and remember, stay heroic.